The Type 100 is one of the best SMGs in Vanguard, but like with all weapons, the camo challenges for it can be quite difficult to complete. So this is my full guide of how to knock the gold camo on the Type 100 in the quickest and easiest way as possible. In this video, I'll tell you the best class setup you want to be using once you've got it to the max level, some quick tips how to level it up faster, and then I'll go over each camo challenge telling you how you need to change your class and your player style to complete them in the quickest and easiest way as possible. So let's get straight into it. The best class setup for the Type 100 is a Slate Reflector, the Shirashi T100 stock, the Warabachi 134mm barrel, the F8 stabilizer muzzle, the Carver foregrip, the 0.3 Russian short 30 round mags, the stipple grip lengthened ammo type, the vital proficiency and the quick kit all fully loaded. For perks I run ninja, forward intel and overkill so I can stay quiet, see where the enemies are spawning on the map and I also have the right shield on my back as my secondary to protect me. This class is built for high damage and accuracy as it's already a fast gun but for some challenges it may be a good idea to change a few attachments to make it more accurate. This is the best class you want to be using to get the most kills when you are levelling up so make sure you are aiming to build this class as you are working through levels. So level up the the fastest you want to be playing inside of the shoot house mode if it's available. On domination it's the fastest and most close quarters mode and inside domination you should know where most enemies are spawning and then using that forward intel will see where they are spawning on the map. But if that mode isn't available and you want to be playing inside a blitz hard point patrol or domination these are the best modes getting lots of kills and loads of XP whilst using an SMG because it's always fast paced always close quarters where this gun works the best. So the first one is pack tactics and this is just get 400 eliminations obviously we'll do this one super easily whilst you are leveling up. Then you've got surgical which is get 100 headshots. Again, this one should just get done as you are doing all the others without having to try too much. But if you are struggling, just make sure you're focusing on your crosshair placement and always trying to keep it at head height of the enemies when you are trying to specifically go for these headshots. Then you've got Predatory Ambition, which you get 50 multi-kills. All you need to do to get these inside of Vanguard is get a double kill or more. So a double kill, triple kill, or anything over will all count as one towards this challenge. So again, you should get this one whilst you are doing all the other challenges or whilst you were just leveling it up. Then you've got Reptilian, which is get five kills without dying 30 times. For this one, you'll see 30 Bloodthirsty Medals. So to make it easy, if you are struggling, make sure you're not using lethal streaks or nades as it needs to be 5 kills just from the gun itself. You can chain more than one of these together, so if you do go on a 10 kill streak, this will count as 2 towards a challenge. And to make them easier to complete, play inside of hardpoint or patrol, or if you're confident, you can start rushing inside of a blitz mode. But if you are really struggling, just play around those objectives on hardpoint or patrol or even on domination. Just wait for those enemies to come near to you inside of the tactical pacing and it should be really easy to do, but there shouldn't be as many people running around the map and you shouldn't be dying as easily. Then you've got Dead Out, which get 100 long range kills. For this one, you want to be doing it at the same time as Survivors, which is get 100 long shot kills with the Warrior Battery, 134mm Rapid Barrel, the 8mm Curse 40 round drum mags, and the Shirachi T100 stock equipped. Class you want to run it is on screen now, but it's a G16 25 times optic, the Shirachi T100 stock, the Warrior Battery 134mm Barrel, the F8 Stabilizer, the Carver Foregrip, the 8mm Curse 40 round drum mags, the Length and Ammo Type, the Pine Tar Grip, the Vital Proficiency and Quick Kit, all fully loaded, depending on which one you think will help you out the most. This class is much more accurate than the first one and does as much damage as possible with the attachments you have to use for survivalist. The way that I did all of these was by playing on hardcore domination. As this gun has quite a bit of recoil, even with the best class on that I've just said, it still has quite low damage at further range. This is the best way to do it. Just make sure I tap firing at those further ranges and you should be getting those kills fairly consistently. The best maps that I played on was Gavutu, Desert Siege and Demyansk. Going for headshots as well really helps as other weapons will always be one shot inside this mode. Things like the STG or the Oman Grand will always be killing you one shot. So if you go those headshots you have a chance of winning those gunfights at further ranges because the headshot will do most of the damage and you only need one more bullet on the body to get that long shot kill. If you want any more help with great long spot shots to play then make sure you check out my full long shot guide which will be linked at the end of the video but doing it this way should only take you a few games to complete you can get so many long shots on those maps. Then we have Berserker which just get 100 close range kills you want to do this at the same time as doing Wildcat which you get 100 hip fire kills but both of these you won't need to focus on but you can do them at the same time as doing mind games and death artist which I'll talk about now. So for mind games Games like to get 100 kills whilst crouched or prone, whilst using the Shirashi 374mm barrel, the Shirashi weighted stock and the Acrobat proficiency equipped. For this one, you just want to play inside a shipment or any small map. If you just rush in and hip fire while sliding, this is an easy way to complete the Berserker and the Wildcat challenges at the same time, because all you need to do is crouch or prone whilst you are getting your kill, so this will cover it, or you can just move around the map and crouch down every time just before you get your kill. The smallest maps are the easiest ones to do, so on just because you will find the most enemies in the quickest amount of time, just can get them done nice and quick. The best class you want to be using is on screen now and this class should make it really easy to complete. Using this class and this player style are completed in about 3 games on shipment. Then finally you got Death Artist which get 100 hip fire kills whilst moving with the 8mm Nambu 20 round mags, the Sakura Type 2 stock and the fleet proficiency equipped. This is another really easy one to complete whilst you are doing the Berserker and Wildcat challenges if you haven't already done these before. So just keep playing inside a shipment for this one because it's the fastest way to do it. As long as you're moving where the enemy dies then it will always count towards this challenge so sliding or just walking will 
will work. The 20 round mags are the biggest problem you'll have with this challenge as you can't really just run in all the time and get loads of kills, reload and stay alive because you can't run sleight of hand because you do need to have that different proficiency on to complete this challenge. So you normally die after firing off that first mag but luckily if you are playing inside a shipment then you can get back into the fight really quickly and all I did for this one was just keep rushing back in every single time, spraying that one mag, dying before the reload and just doing it again. Because shipment's so small you can get into those fights so quickly I could get at least 40 kills per game whilst doing it this way so it took two or three games to actually get it all completed. The best class you want to be using whilst doing this challenge is on screen now so make sure you're using this one because the recall booster does increase the damage so you get more kills with less bullets which is really important when you only have those 20 rounds. I was able to sometimes get three kills out of one mag but you do have to be really accurate and obviously when you are hip firing sometimes you do just go for it at further ranges even when you're not going to land all those shots. Once you have completed that challenge and all the ones before you will have earned the golden camo on the type 100 SMG you one step closer towards getting diamond SMGs and the atomic camo. If this video has been helpful then please make sure you leave a like, subscribe to see more videos just like this one and check out my full going for low place which is linked on screen now as well as that long shot guide which I talked about before. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.